Hello, this is Matt at The Turning Gate, and I'm going to show you the new WordPress add-on for Backlight. If you're unfamiliar with Backlight, it is our web publishing software for photographers, and it allows you to uh, design and set up your own website and image galleries using uh, an online application with lots of customization features so that you can change the look and behavior of your image galleries and your website. Um, and in Lightroom, you can organize your images into collections and very quickly and easily publish those from Lightroom to your website with the press of a button. It's really cool, and if you'd like more information about that, please come to theturninggate.net. Uh, we've got lots of examples and information, and if you have any questions, let us know. We'll be happy to talk to you about it. So the rest of this video, I'm going to go ahead and show you around the new WordPress add-on. Um, and so... To begin with, we're looking at my personal website, which honestly I haven't spent a lot of time on because I've been so busy working on Backlight itself. But uh, it's basically a very default looking um, design at the moment. This is it's kind of close to what you begin with when you first load up Backlight. And so I've got my name at the top. I've got a navigation menu here so I can bounce around my pages and galleries. Uh, my thumbnail images, which you can click on to enlarge and browse them this way. And that's all great, but when I click on my blog and I go over to WordPress, you can see it does not look the same, and that is the problem. The reason is right now I'm using the default WordPress theme, uh, 2016, it comes with your WordPress download. Um, so what I want to do is use our new WordPress add-on for Backlight to create a new theme for my blog that looks just like my image galleries so that uh, it, you know there's that visual cohesion between the different parts of my website. So let me first show you in my FTP client uh, this is online so on the left hand side I have my backlight files and folders and this one that's highlighted in blue that's module-wordpress that's the new WordPress add-on so I've already copied that into my backlight files and you just drop that one folder into the modules folder in backlight and it's installed it's literally copying one folder um, once that's in place you're, you're basically ready to get started using it so on the right hand side this is my themes folder in my WordPress installation and as you can see there's only one thing here the 2016 theme that's about to change so hopping back over to my uh, my web browser um, if I'm looking at my WordPress admin, I'm under appearance and themes again you can see that the only thing in here is 2016 also about the change. So, oops, let's get into the uh, the backlight admin right here. And with the the WordPress add-on installed, I'm going to go to settings, backlight settings, and I'm going to click on the edit settings link at the top and scroll down until I find the new WordPress section. Now, this is only going to be here if you have the WordPress add-on installed. If it's not installed, you're not going to see this. So there's two settings. The first one is the most important. It's the WordPress URL, and that is the address where you have WordPress set up on your website. So for me, that's at campagnapictures.com slash blog. So I enter that. The second option is export on save, and the default value is yes. It's probably best just to leave that set as yes. And what that allows you to do is when you uh, make changes to your design in Backlight, it's going to automatically update your WordPress theme. So that's pretty cool. So I'm just going to scroll to the bottom, press save to, uh, to lock in my settings, and then I'm going to go to designer templates. Now if you've been using Backlight, you should be well familiar with this page. It's where you've got your page templates and your album te templates listed so that you can create new ones or design the ones that you have. So uh, we are going to be using an existing page template for our WordPress theme. So I've already got a few options here, uh, pages that I've des designed to use around my website and with my albums. And I'm going to scroll right past those down to the bottom to where it says theme templates and again you're only going to see this if you have the WordPress add-on installed. So no templates have been created. I'm going to create a new template. I'm going to give it a name and this is uh, the name as it will appear in Backlight. So I'm just going to call that Campania Pictures Blog. 
the identifier is the name that's going to be used in WordPress. So I'm just going to call that a backlight theme. And then I press the add button. It loads us into the design template page. Now, uh, again, if you've been using Backlight, you know that when you are designing a page or designing albums, when you get to this page, there's going to be a lot of settings down here. And for the Backlight uh, templates, there are no settings. The theme settings are empty um, because it's going to inherit everything from our page template. So all we need to do is tell it which page template to use. I'm going to use this two-column layout template that I made. Press Save to lock in that setting. And then when the spinner is done, I go up to the name of my template here in the breadcrumbs, Campania Pictures blog, and click on that to go to the View Template page. And I'm going to press Export Theme. Boom. The template theme was exported successfully. So what this has done is, you know, in settings, we told Backlight where WordPress was located. So when you press Export Theme, it takes your template settings from your page template, it rolls them into a WordPress theme, and it creates a folder over there. And we can see that if we go back to our FTP client. So before, there's just the one theme. I'm going to refresh the view of that folder. So there's 2016, and now there's this new folder, Backlight Theme. It's, it's right there in WP Content Themes, where all of our WordPress themes would normally be installed. Backlight just drops it in there. You don't have to move anything. It's ready to use. So I'm going to go back into my WordPress admin and refresh the themes page. And now I have a choice. It's showing me the active 2016 theme and the new Backlight theme, which I am going to activate. And now if I refresh my blog, it looks just like the rest of my website, whether I'm here on my, in my gallery or I'm here on my blog. They're a match. And it was easy. All I had to do was press export theme and, and here it is. And what's really cool is you can actually go and you can edit that page template and it will update your theme in real time. So if I go back into templates, I go to the two column layout, I press design, and uh, I know it's called two columns, but this just say I wanna make it three. Uh, the internet's running, it's a little slow tonight. Sorry about the wait. Page layout, uh, number of columns, three columns, I press save, and it's spinning, and it's going to be done in just a moment. And if I come over here to my WordPress theme and I refresh that, I now have, well, there's this empty space. That is a column. Um, tell you what I'm going to do. I'm going to come back over here. I forgot. Uh, so there's three columns. I like the split layout. I don't want them both on the left. So I'm going to set that to split. I'm going to resave that. I'm going to go into appearance and widgets. You can see now I've got tray two over here. And I'm just going to move some things over so that we can actually see recent post, recent comments. And then I refresh the page. And there you go. I've got a column on the left. I've got a column on the right. I can put widgets in there. I've got my main column with my content here in the center. So every time I make changes to this page template, it's going to, and I save those changes, it will update the WordPress theme automatically. So you can quickly change colors, change layout, do whatever you want. I'm going to really quick just switch that back to left because that's the way I like it. And if I go back into my admin, I'll just show you very quickly one other thing. If you go into Appearance, Customize, we've actually got some uh, options here you can use in WordPress. So of course you can change um, the menu. You can, you can, you know, this is the backlight menu, but if you'd rather on your WordPress uh, use WordPress's menu, then you can go in and you can change that. You can control your widgets from here. We've got some settings so that if you uh, you want to see the excerpts on the main blog page, you just enable that. Or if you want the full post, you disable that.
Um, personally, I like my main blog page has excerpts, that way people click through to see the main article. Um, you can include the featured image on excerpts and on post or not, and there are individual controls for that, and you can put the image over the theme, or over the title, or under the title. Um, so there's things you can change. You can make this your own. And that's pretty much it. That's the WordPress theme in a nutshell. I hope you like what you've seen. Uh, for more information, again, please come to theturninggate.net and check us out. If you have any questions, let us know. We'd be happy to uh, take care of you and make sure you, you learn everything you need to learn to get started. Thank you for watching and take care.